Disclaimer, all the character and incident are fictional, everything is imaginary in this FF, so don't compare with your own life, it's just based on imagination. Wayan, are you okay? You were looking at the window from the past few minutes. Wayan, he held your hand and you flinch and look at him. Yes. Did you hear what I was saying? You blink your eyes and look at him with your confusing expressions. You press your lips together and near the cup of coffee to your lips. Then you take a sip. Is there something bothering you? You bite your lips and shifted your eyes on him. No, you seem lost. What are you thinking? I'm just thinking about... You take a deep breath. Leave it. You put the cup on the table and get up. Where are you going? I'm going home. Wait, I will drop you at your home. No, it's okay. You don't have to. You walk out. You made your way to home. You were wearing simple jeans with white shirt. While walking on the empty road, you smell a sweet scent. That boy can't be him. But his eyes were same as him. You bite your lips. I think he was protecting me. You take a deep breath while looking up to the sky. You close your eyes. You were walking near the road while listening songs. You put headphones and smile while, in, while looking at your phone and suddenly someone pulled you your elbow. Because of his sudden touch, you got shocked. When you turn to him, you slap him. Don't touch me. You twisted your eyebrows but your eyes widen when you look at his eyes. He was wearing mask but you can clearly see his eyes. You take off your headphones. All those people were gossiping about you. You look around. You found that he helped you. You were going to buy a car. He left the grip from your elbow and, but you run from there instead of apologizing to him. You open your eyes and take a deep breath. Even if it was not him, I should have to apologize to him. I literally slapped him. You sat on the bed with your empty stomach. You picked up your diary from the side table. He sat on the couch in the grand mansion. He was like only source of light visible from afar, with four men standing behind him. He was looking at the laptop, watching your every move. His appearance looked unusual. His eyes, nose, even his sharp jawline look like he belongs to a fictional character. Eye peering, tattoos, lip peering was looking unreal. He pressed his lips together, then he smirked. I'm so desperate to meet you. I can't wait any longer. He slid his finger on laptop screen. Yesterday, you slapped me. And now I want to grab your wrist and pull you closer until you understand how crazy I am for you. I hope you also missed me as I missed you. Come on, now sleep. I want to meet you again. You lay on the bed and close your eyes. What if I never see him again? I remember our last meeting. He hugged me and said he would come back for me because he loves me. You smile and fell asleep. That's like my girl, he got up. He slowly opened the door and took steps towards the bed. A smile was placed on his lips. He stopped near the bed and looked down to, at you. You were sleeping peacefully. Your long hairs were covered your forehead. His eyebrows twisted when you moved towards the pillow and wrapped your arm around the pillow like you have your fictional man in your imagination. <laughs> it's been a long time since I talked to you. He sat on the edges of the bed beside you. You have become more beautiful than before. He neared his hand to your face. He stopped for some seconds. Can I? He smiled and tucked your hairs behind your ear. He chuckled softly when he heard your voice in his ear. He still remembered your words. You are psycho, but still I like it. Psycho, huh? Then you should have to be afraid from me. 
scare and from you i don't care if you are psycho strange or weird but in every situation i'm your first priority then why would i be scared from you huh look i give you a chance to run away but you do not avail it ah uh, stop it you are perfect don't you dare to say anything about my jungkook oh ho the flashback ended in his thoughts but his gaze were fixed on you i missed you so much he held your hand i love you he kissed on your hand then he carefully picked up you in his arms and made his way to the door made open the door for him so he came inside in his room along with you in his arms welcome home my love he made you lay on the bed and pulled the blanket on you covered the blanket on you Good night, love. See you in the morning. He turned off the lights and walked out. Maid bowed at him. Take care of her, okay, sir, and make sure she won't run away. Don't worry, sir. You wake up in the morning. You slowly open your eyes. You smile and rub your eyes like you're evil. You get up and walk towards the door with your blurry version of your eyes out, but you bump into the table. You immediately rub your eyes and look around. With your wooden eyes, where I am, your heart beat fast in tension. No way, this room was bigger than your apartment. You walk towards the door and pull the handle, but the room was locked. No, 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 God, please help me. I could kidnap. No way. You take a deep breath and walk towards the balcony. Your eyes wooden when you look down. I'm in the big mansion. You tilted your head and you saw guards on gate, workers near the garden. But you got many when they opened the gate and more than twenty cars entered. I think I'm daydreaming. You looked down and you got another shock. You were wearing totally different clothes. You rushed inside the room. No way. Think something, Wyan. Who has enmity with you? Why someone wants to? You twisted your eyebrows when you remember. Yesterday I slapped that guy. Stop it, silly Wyan! You heard someone knock the door. Your heart beat stop. You immediately take take back steps. He unlocked the door and come inside. His eyes shifted on a girl who was standing on the corner of the room. You wake up. He smiled and walked to you. You look at him. He was that guy you slapped yesterday. You remember his eyes. He still wore a mask. Stay, stay, stay away from me. He walked towards you. He put his arms on your both side and spoke. Why? Why you kidnap me? You look at his eyes and spoke in full confidence. What you want from me? I'm sorry for yesterday, but please let me go. You ask a lot in one time. Why I kidnapped you? What I want from you? Huh? Please let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. You can't stop me. He walked towards the door and he grabbed your hand and pulled you to him. Leave me. Listen, listen. You try to push him. He take off his mask and you got frozen on your spot. Jungkook, your mouth open. It's me, your Jungkook. You put your hand in his chest and yesterday was you. Yeah, it was me. I told you I come back for you. You look at him, then you hug him. I missed you. Flashback: Some years ago, you were sitting on the chair enjoying your ice cream in a restaurant until your eyes land on a boy who were sitting on the bench. It was raining heavily outside, but he doesn't care. He was sitting there. Is not he is Jungkook? He looked so different in school, but here you got up. Then you sat down again. Why I'm worried about him? Who doesn't even know me? You look down on your ice cream, but he look upset. You get up and walk towards the door. You picked up your umbrella. What happened, Jungkook? He look up to you. How you know my name? You smile and sat beside him. I study in national school. Of course, I know you. You are our school's famous boy. He look away. Tell me what happened. I will help you. Just go away. You were looking at him, and he look away. 
Well, I know that you are upset, but if you did not want to share with me, then it's okay. I'm also you close the umbrella. I'm going to enjoy this rain with you. He look at you. Hey, he look down at your clothes, which are getting wet because of rain. What stupid girl! He immediately take off his shirt and put it on you. Then he grab umbrella from your hand and open it. I ran my favor desk for you. At least now tell me why you are upset. He look at you, then he chuckled. You are literally crazy. What's your name? It's Vaya. Now don't change the topic. I'm upset because my father decided a profession for me, and I don't think it will be a good choice. Oh, you make up out. You are just thinking too much. He twisted his eyebrows and look at you. Which profession your dad chose for you? Leave it. Um, would you like to drink coffee? Coffee? I don't think there is a coffee shop nearby to this place. Look at the building. My apartment is right there. Let's go. Okay, fine. In some days, you both became friends, and slowly you both came closer. He started getting jealous from your boy best friend, and then finally one day he confessed. Your school life ended, and he tells you he have to go. He doesn't tell you where and what's the reason. But at least you can tell me where are you going and when you will be back. He hold your hands. Why? Look at me. I'm sorry, but believe me. I will come back for you. He hugged you. Please don't do this. How I will survive without you? He back on your forehead after he broke the hug. I love you. You are so bad. I'm sorry. Back to story. So you went for your mafia training. He nodded. Oh, you look at him. Who were smiling at you? Who changed my dress? Made right? He shook his head. Your cheeks turned red. You were so bad. He chuckled and pulled you, pulled up your jaw. Um. Now I'm going home because I'm getting late for my job. Home? You are not going anywhere. What do you mean? Mean? I think you forget. I kidnapped you. So what? So nothing. You just have to stay here forever with me. And the end. Tada! Bye bye. Take care. See you. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Now bye bye. See you. Mm -hmm.